It's Big Lotto to you. Lotto's got new music, ladies and gentlemen, and she's got the people talking, specifically Cola Ray's talking. She believes she got dissed in Lotto's new record. Put it on the floor. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Lotto says she's smoking on the gas. Her blunt's biggest Cola Ray. Bitches like to run their mouths, but Lotto the type to run a fade. When your diamonds hit like this, you don't even see the shade. Lotto says she got a key to her city. They gave her a holiday. All kind of shit. Let me pull my diamond test out. These bitches counterfeit. Better keep my name up out of mouth. They be trying it. If it's beef, then let me know, baby, why you hiding it? Lotto's just rapping at that point. I'm not so sure if it's about Koi specifically, but because women's rap is so catered to their box and other girls, after Koi LeRae's name came a lot of shit talking from Lotto, so you could kind of see how Koi could believe the whole verse was about her. Apparently, Koi LeRae thought that Blunt's biggest Koi LeRae a little reference was more than just something to say. She took it personal. She went on her social media and said, let's fight. Lotto by, here you go talking about my body. Please do not come on here and talk about nobody body. Like seriously, out of all things, you blunt my size, LML, this is never ending. Koi said, y'all wanna have rap beef so bad, little Miss Pressure, anybody that talk about my body wants my body like real bad. I don't know what they got going on. So I, it's not even my place to say if it was a diss or not. I like the wittiness of it, meaning it could be a diss. It could have just been, yo, my blunts are, you know, skinny, but they're long like Coyle Ray. Like I didn't look at it as a diss. I didn't even hear it until I saw Coyle LeRae tweet about it. Like, listening to the bar, I didn't. I don't think it's a diss, but hey, I like when artists leave it in the air, not responding to nothing. You, you take it how you want. I come from the Lil Wayne school of every time this dude rapped, he made me think. Drake's got a lot of that in him. Obviously, Jay's got a lot of that in him. I like that as a rap fan. You know, obviously, Lotto followed up some of those bars with saying something about shade. Look, that's a little above my pay grade. I don't know if they got something going where Coyle Ray and Lotto were not already not on the best of terms and that sent Coy over the edge. I, th I thought she over-exaggerated a little bit, but again, I don't know those women personally. I don't know what they got going on. Maybe this was like something like number nine on Coy's list of things that Lotto's done and which she thought she was like dissing her or subbing her or all that. Look, I don't know. I will tell y'all this though, you know, this is not the first time Lotto has made me think when she raps, you know, not necessarily just in that verse, but you know, I'm listening to her uh, with the with the Rax chick that uh that boom remix. Oh, every time Lotto comes, she makes me think. And that's all I can ask for as a rap fan. You know, like I said previously, Jay-Z, when he raps, even like up to a couple years ago on 444, in the future, other dudes playing football with your son. Come on, that's just a very witty line. This is witty. Drake's obviously always done that in his career. He got it from Wayne, who, for anybody that comes from around my age group, Lil Wayne in every verse had one line that made you think. Like real G's moving, silence like lasagna, like, what made you think of that? Like, what 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 did you want? What made you say that? And and Wayne did that pretty much every verse. He had at least one of those where it's like, okay, I can never do that, right? As a as a civilian, as a person that doesn't rap, I've never wanted to be a rapper. When I heard Wayne rap, early Drake and obviously Jay, it's like, okay, I can't do that. That's what I appreciate about rap. That's why I never wanted to be a rapper, right? Like, I never wanted to like I, I never played basketball at an elite level because I'm not good. And when I'm watching guys like Braun and Steph, Dame, you want to know what I appreciate the most is like, okay, I've played basketball before. What those guys are doing on the court, I can't do that. When I hear rap today, 98% of it, I'm unamused because I could do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I got one ups, I got two ups, maybe I got three. That's all I hear in the rap game today. It just uninspires me because 98% of it, me being a guy that's never wanted to be a rapper in my life, I could do it. And it's just uninspiring to me. Now, would I have the believability in some of those lyrics? Probably not. It's cool though. I'm just saying, I ain't mad at the young hustlers for getting it. 
I'm telling y'all as a fan, I just listened to the music today, and 98% of the time, it's like, all right, bro, that's cool, I guess. So with all that being said, I'm coming here to make a proclamation. We are still early in the second quarter of 2023. But I'm going to say this loud, and I want to say it clear. Second quarter of 2023 so far this year, the best rapper I've heard this year is Lotto. I'm sorry. Somebody's got to say it. Look, I'm not the guy that's just going around listening to a lot of female rap. But every time I hear some new Lotto, whether it be radio, whether it be in a setting like this, she always makes me think in at least one of her bars. That's more than I can say about 98% of the rappers in the game today. So I am going to say Lotto to me is rapping the best of anybody in the game right now. I'm putting that out in the atmosphere and I'm standing on it. And I ain't going back and forth with anybody. You tell me somebody you got that's rapping better than Lotto and I will listen to him and I'll say, you know what? I agree or I disagree. I'm just telling y'all how I feel. At least when Lotto raps, every time I know she at least thought about her, her bars, her verse before she turned it in. Most of these dudes right now, they just rapping. It feels like they doing these verses in 30 minutes. No love in the sport. It feels like stuff that I could do if I sat down for an hour with time. I'm uninspired, unamused. And a lot of you dudes wondering why y'all label heads won't clear y'all albums. Why it's taking so long for y'all to get a new project. Some of y'all actually overdue for a new album. The reason why y'all music not getting cleared is because it sucks. It's not good. It's uninspiring. It's unmotivating. Look, it, it's just it's just there. And they know it. They listening to it, kind of trying to fake bob their head to you like, yeah, bro, it's hard. Knowing damn well they ain't releasing your new music because it sucks. Y'all too rich. Y'all too full. It ain't good music. Nobody wants to hear it. It doesn't relate to the common person. The common person don't got $20 million to go rap about Chanel and Gucci. That's not the reality of people's lives. People works hard for their dollars. That, that The reality is we want to hear records that make sense to us. I'm sorry, y'all. My life ain't spent driving foreign cars. I ain't got it like that yet. Now I'm on the way, but I ain't got it like that yet. You don't relate to the common person. How the common person in Ohio is supposed to relate to your foreign cars? How the common person, I said the common person in, in Dallas, Texas, supposed to relate to some of the stuff you rapping about, some of the clothes you got. We don't know what the hell it is. Some of the restaurants you eating in. What is that? What type of fish you eating? I am saying the rap that I've heard so far this year, 98% of it is uninspiring. Every now and then I hear a record that goes, but I ain't checking for many of y'all right now. And thus far this year, every time I listen to Lotto, she at least makes me think, Every, she's got at least one of those and every every verse is like, okay, I got it. Look, ain't, look I, I see what you did there. That, that was pretty creative. I could never have thought of that. I mean, I know it's a hot take, y'all, but I'm going there. I think Lotto's rapping as good as anybody in the world right now. I think she's the best rapper so far I've heard in 2023. Y'all let me know what y'all think about what your boy Pharaoh said. So for just for reference, last year, my rapper of the year was Future. And the year before that, I can't even remember who I had. But for 2022, I had Future. He, to me, delivered the project of the year. So far this year, I got Lotto. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Time, love, and support. Coyle Ray ain't like the diss that Lotto put in her direction. If it was a diss at all, I don't, I'm not so sure. But hey, guess what? I love that I don't know if it was a diss or not. That's the type of stuff I'm looking for rap. I don't want to know everything. I shouldn't be smarter than 98% of the music out here today. I'm out.